Hi guys, how's it going? Welcome back to a brand new video on the channel. Um, I'm up at Bystock Pools today and I'm going to be doing some macro photography. This is going to be the main aim for the video today. Um, so yeah, I'm going to head up to the location, up to the meadows and mainly have the video be focused around that sort of area. There is a pond which I'm at now which you guys have seen before in my previous videos. So I'm going to do a bit of um, macro photography here for a little bit. Not for long. I'm just going to see if there's any downs or flies or anything around. If there isn't, I'll head straight up to the meadow and then come back down here later on in the video. Um, but usually there's, there's a nice set of dragonflies and damselflies around this pond, so I'm going to give this a go. Um, but yeah, mainly I'm going to be heading straight up to the meadow and then start photographing some stuff up there. Um, hopefully we can get some good shots today. Sun's out, it's a nice day, very nice day. Um, so yeah, let's get on with it and see what we can find. Alright guys, so I just had a quick look on the pond. Um, there's a few damselflies, blue, common blue damselflies down there. Um, but they're not really coming close enough for me to be able to get a photo. So, like I say, I'm going to head straight up to the meadow. And then unpack my gear properly there and uh, spend some time up there and see what we can photograph on that, on that, um, on the meadow. Um, so yeah, let's head on up there and see what we can find. I'll speak to you guys in a bit. Alright guys, so as you can tell, um, I'm at the meadow now and there's one thing for certain, it is very hot up here. Uh, I might have to go find some shade in a minute and uh, sit and cool down for a bit. Um, but yeah, as you can tell, I've got my gear out ready to go. Uh, let me just quickly run through what I'm using today. So I've got the Nikon D500 paired with the Nikon Micro um, 105 2.8 macro lens and then I've got the newer flash and diffuser um, on the camera as well there just to try and soften out the light because it is a bit harsh lighting today um, so hopefully I'll be able to do that <clears throat> um, but yeah there seems to be a lot of life around, a lot of insects around I'm just going to stay in this top area today and see what I can find, see what I can photograph I'm going to try and bring you guys along uh, on the journey as much as possible Try. I'm going to try and video some insects as well which is really hard to do um, so sorry if I don't get any of that um, but I'm going to try my best to to get you guys involved with this photo shoot um, and just see what I can see what I can find a large red I think damselfly has just landed actually um, hopefully it stays there and I'll see if I can get some photos and videos for you guys fingers crossed I do I can't guarantee it's going to stay there for long because it is very warm um, but yeah, let's get on and see what we can photograph. Let's do it. Alright guys, so um, I managed to see a little bit down the, down the bottom there. Um, hopefully managed to get some photos and videos for you guys. Um, it does take a while to get these videos. Like I say with insects, they move so so much, especially when it's this hot. 
Um, so trying to get close and get videos of those is actually really difficult. I need to start coming out a bit earlier really um, to try and get them when they're a bit less active. But I'm going to head up to the top end of the meadow now, see what's around up there. Um, this is where I photographed a fr uh, fritillary one time, um, so it would be nice to see one of those up here too. Um, it is very hot out, very hot. I'm going to sit down and have a drink in a minute and uh, try and probably stay in the cooler parts at the minute, try and get into some shade or something. Um, but yeah, hopefully we can find a bit more. Hopefully I can photograph some dragonflies today. Um, I did go out the other day and I managed to photograph a golden ring dragonfly, got a real nice shot of one. So um, I'll post that at the end of the video as well. Um, but let's going to carry on and uh, yeah, see what else we can find. Okay, wow, so I um, I literally just packed for macro photography today. And it's typical. If I had my bigger lens, I probably would have got some real nice shots of some green woodpeckers. Um, I literally just saw two. I'm guessing, I'm guessing they are um, male and female. Uh, but yeah, I just saw, saw two of them fly past. Extremely close, um, but it's typical. I didn't have my big lens or anything like that, so I couldn't get any photos. But I did, I did witness it and Honestly, that was amazing to see. Actually, I haven't seen a green woodpecker for a while. So it's really nice to come up here and see them. Um, it is really quiet up here in terms of people. Um, I think I've only seen like one or two families. So it is really quiet up here, which is actually really nice. I thought it was gonna be busy. Um, but it's better like that, you know, I see so much more. Um, but yeah, just a shame I didn't have a big lens, but I still experienced it and shame I couldn't share that with you guys, but uh, it was actually incredible. Um, I'm just gonna sit here for a bit. I might move into a bit of shade and sit down for a bit. And then uh, we'll continue macro, well, and then we'll continue um, doing a bit of macro photography. I think I have got some nice shots already, um, and hopefully some good videos for you guys. Um, but yeah, we'll, uh, we'll see what else we can get. Let's do it. So I have just managed to see a green hair streak butterfly. First ever time seeing one. I've been waiting to see one. Um, I literally said the other day, I've never seen one. And then I come up here and I see one. And it's absolutely incredible. So nice to see. And I managed to spend quite a lot of time with it. Um, I just bought for a cobweb. Um, but yeah, managed to spend a lot of time with it. I got some real nice photos and some videos, I think, as well for you guys. So that's awesome. Um, you know, it's actually incredible to be able to see one of those. I'm so excited. That was absolutely amazing. I hope you guys enjoy seeing it as well. Um, but yeah, anyway, uh, I've been here for a couple of hours now. I think I've managed to get quite a few photos and videos for you guys, so hopefully I have, and hopefully you enjoy it. Um, I am going to call it there. It is getting very hot up here, um, and I've got a few other things to do today. Um, I just wanted to get a video out for you guys, so I do hope you enjoyed it. Um, I know this is more focused on the animals and wildlife and stuff like that instead of me talking um, but I hope you guys enjoy that aspect of it. If you do be sure to let me know and I'll make sure to um, include that in more future videos. Um, I'll try to anyway. Um, but I do hope you guys did enjoy this video. If you did be sure to smash that thumbs up button and subscribe if you haven't already. And as always guys I'll see you in the next video. See you later and goodbye.